hi guys in this tutorial video I'm gonna be showing how to solve the inverse the, the, to find the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix in the previous tutorial we did that of a 2 by 2 matrix in this case we are having a 3 by 3 matrix so the first thing we do we write out the formula which is always the same thing it doesn't change a inverse is equal to the transpose of the cofactor all divided by the determinant of the matrix in question and in this case we are having matrix A which is equal to this value here so to find the determinant of matrix A I'm pretty sure we know how to find the determinant of a tray battery matrix but I'll have to do it again in case we are we bring out seven outside okay let me draw my little box here I have your plus minus plus minus plus minus plus this box should always follow you wherever you go whenever you want to find the cofactor of any matrix especially a tray by tray matrix it helps you to remember the signs that should be in front so we bring out seven outside here element whatever is here and here then 3 multiplied by minus 2 here we have minus 3 and then 4 multiplied by minus 1 here we have minus 4 but because minus multiplied by minus we give us plus so we are having this now minus because of this so we are now having minus 2 side eliminate everything here and everything here so we are having 0 multiplied by minus with 0 and minus 1 minus 3 is plus 3 so we are going to have minus 3 here so now we have plus 1 everything here and here 0 4 is 0 3 minus 3 is minus 9 so we are having plus 9 instead so we can solve this minus 6 plus 4 this is minus 2 then this is minus 6 plus 9 so we have minus 14 minus 6 or rather plus 6 sorry plus 6 plus 9 which is equal to 6 plus 9 is 15 and this is 14 so we have the determinant of this matrix is 1 so we have this what should be in the denominator we have it to be 1 so the next thing we do is to find the cofactor of our matrix cofactor of this matrix so now to find the cofactor of a matrix we really need to reference this table find the cofactor we are going to be taking the determinant of everything in this matrix here we eliminate everything here and here we pick this the same thing happens here the same thing happens here 0 3 minus 1 so let's just get started I can have my big box here so that um to find the first one it's going to be removing this and this so what is going to remain is 3 minus 1 and then 4 minus 2 so that is it for this one and you always remember your sign so I always like putting it on top so for the second one that is for two here we eliminate whatever is here or whatever is here so this it now remains zero minus one then minus three and minus two so we can write that out zero minus one minus three and minus two so now look at the sign here we now put a negative sign here we now do that for this other one here we have 0, 3, minus 3 and 4. 0, 3, 
minus 3 and 4 this will be a positive sign so now we do we go over to the next row we eliminate whatever is here and whatever is here we are left with 2 1 4 and minus 2 and that is this 2 1 4 and minus 2 then we always remember our sign this is negative here for this one this and this we are having 7 1 then minus 3 and minus 2 the sign here is positive over here we have 7 2 then minus 3 and 4 the sign here is negative even if you don't understand why we are putting this sign here just hang on I'm going to explain that in a sec so we go over to the third row this is minus 3 so we eliminate whatever is here and whatever is here we are left with 2 1 3 and minus 1 so we have 2 1 3 and minus 1 our sign here is positive then here we have 7 1 0 and minus 1 7 1 0 and minus 1 the sign here is negative and then we have 7 2 0 and 3 and the sign here is also positive so we now solve the determinants of these values we've gathered 3 multiplied by minus 2 is minus 6 and minus 6 okay let's just write it out minus 6 then this is 4 minus 4 we have a minus 4 so it's we're now gonna have plus 4 minus 6 plus 4 I hope you understand why it's plus 4 yeah so we we now leave it just like this because the sign here is positive now for this one that is having a negative sign here we bring out the negative sign outside the bracket and close it up then 0 minus 2 is giving us 0 then minus we are now having 3 minus 1 is 3 so it's now going to be minus 3 so this is the essence of the negative sign outside the bracket it should always be outside the bracket so sorry so we are having here 0 and 4 that is 0 minus this is 3 and minus 3 so it's going to be mi uh, minus 9 so can now have plus 9 so here we bring out a negative sign outside it is 2 and minus 2 which is minus 4 then 4 and 1 which is minus 1 then the next one 7 and minus 2 there we have minus 14 and 7 3 and 1 we are having 3 minus 3 so it's going to be this so here always bring out a negative sign outside 7 and 4 we're having 28 then 3 and 2 we're having minus 6 so it's going to be plus 6 so here we're having 2 and minus 1 which is minus 2 and ok minus 2 minus 3 then here our minus sign is outside here so 7 and minus 1 we're having minus 7 it is minus 0 zero then plus seven three we're having twenty one here minus zero so that means here we are gonna have minus two here we're gonna have plus three here we're having plus nine here this is two multiplied by minus two which is minus four four okay sorry this should be 4 sorry about that
so this should be here minus 4 minus 4 which is minus 8 then this minus alpha x we now cause a cancellation so we have plus 8 it is minus 14 plus 3 so we should be having minus 11 here we should be having minus 34 here we should be having minus 5 here we should be having plus 7 and 21 so our cofactor will now be equal to minus 2 3 and 9 we have here 8 minus 11 minus 34 then here we have minus 5 7 and 20 one therefore to find the transpose of this cofactor we just bring whatever is on the vertical we now come to the horizontal and whatever is on the horizontal we come to the vertical I'm sure we all understand how to find the transpose of a cofactor so in this case the transpose of this of this uh, on this matrix now is going to be minus 2 3 we now follow on that on 9 so instead of having um, a horizontal value here it's going to be vertical here so the same thing happens there we're having 8 minus 11 minus 34 and then here we have minus 5 7 and 21 therefore remember our formula we said that the inverse of a matrix is given by this so now we succeeded to find this value so and this is 1 so we can have our solution to be this 7 9 minus 34 and then 21 here you can now decide to put 1 over 1 that is if you like since it's 1 and 1 can always be left out so this is the solution to the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix thank you very much for watching this video I really hope you enjoy it